Good day to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week. Well, I'm going to be looking at this guy. This is Tailgate, or rather his uh, MM02 rear end from a Make Toys. This is a version of a Legend Class Tailgate. Uh, as you can see, it turns into a funny looking space car. So, this is his space car mode and it's rather quite dinky um, good quality plastic you know nice to the touch uh, it doesn't it doesn't roll particularly well but he's got nice wheels and stuff but it, some of the stuff underneath him just stops him from rolling that it's very gappy in a way that a space car can get away with being gappy you know so it's kind of got that thing going for it but um got bomb disposal on his um side of his car there, written in Comic Sans. Um Yeah, I've got a total Comic Sans on it. Brilliant. But um yeah, all in all it's just a nice little dinky space car thing. But that's not what we bought it for, is it? Or is it? It's not. It's this. This is a transformer. It transforms. It's got more to it than meets the eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's um, slightly involved, but you know, slightly easy enough transformation. So you just kind of, first of all, unpeg these bits here that become the arms. Flip the hood of the car down. Flip this over. Flip this with this out so this is like um, Make Toys second in line of Manga Mechs they're calling them the first one was Trash Talk I believe they called him with um, Cogwheel so it was Swerve and Gears this time they've given us rear end with the hurricane add-on kit so it's, it's tailgate with an add-on kit to make the reveal the shield battling space two pack cyclonus into more IDW inspired cyclonus so you know so it's kind of four you know three and a half toys uh, in a two numerical s scheme so far <laughs> if that makes any sense to you whatsoever so yeah we just kind of just flip these round and there we go that is tailgate and oh my god that is tailgate that is more than me tonight tailgate bang straight out stepping straight out of the comic book with all these awkward little oh I'm from the past but I'm gonna try and make a big impression on you guys and pretend I'm something I'm not kind of guy you know he's a child of the group you know he's one of the oldest ones and he's you know just a lovely just a lovely representation of it and the ball joint he's got this all this articulation that allows him to do all this stuff and that ball jointy head is just so expressive just so much expressions going on and then just when you think it can express enough it can then look all the way up on the extra little hinge and make me oh, no no <laughs> yeah so he's just adorable this is the most adorable transformer I own and I own some adorable transformers let me tell you that um, but <laughs> it's just sweet it's just I can't believe just how well they've managed to just, just take his likeness and put it in transforming robot toy and it's got you know this ball jointed waist here so it can swivel and pivot and work that just adds to everything it's just oh, so much nice little details to him. It comes with stuff and things, <laughs> like all Transformers do nowadays. 
Um, but let's get into this pile of shit here. Um, it comes with a pair of spur extra damage legs. So in case you ever feel like reenacting the first scene he's ever in in the more than meets the eye comic book where he's underground with his legs destroyed, you can recreate that if you ever wanted to. If you ever really wanted to. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I like to just, I like to have it uh, on the shelf and see it now with his legs off, of course, you know. And then the other thing that relates to Tailgate in this box is gets all oh, little crying head, little crying head, so it's nice another ball joint, you know, pop it off. Pop off his head. And then pop on. The other head, the crying tailgate head, oh sad tailgate. You know, all in all it's just really like I love you know the colours they've used the bang on, so it's got this um you know nice blues for his eyes. Um another blue <laughs> for his body and he's got these whites and then it's kind of a greyish off white for other parts so he just really kind of oh and that nice little bits of energy orange and blue as well on him as well he's just really sort of like sorted out they picked all that out it's a fantastic figure it is a fantastic figure but here it is guys this is let's be honest Let's be perfectly honest with you. This is a legend style third party figure. And third party figures, you know, they cost a lot more than your regular Hasbro Takara figures. And there's an economy to scale with them. I mean, you're paying a lot more for a Voyager or, or you know, mass you know masterpiece style third party figure than you are for a masterpiece or Voyager style toy. However, you're not paying much more difference between getting a legend style fire third party figure than you are from a masterpiece or you know Voyager style um, figure third party figure. I you know hate to bring this guy back in so soon. Hello, it's Impactor. Tailgate. Impactor. Tailgate. I can't remember the exact amount, but I think around the difference in price, it was around 15 and 20 pounds difference in price between these two figures. Both do a bang up job of looking like they're doing the comic books. Both are in scale of how they should be in the comic books. I really, you know, I got my first third party figure last year, so I'm getting into it more uh, this year. I feel a bummer. I feel slightly ripped off getting this. Now, sure, he comes with some extra stuff. He comes with this hip skirts for side wellness. He comes with two extra hands for side wellness. He comes with a head for side wellness. And he comes with a, a sword clip for side wellness. And a sword for side wellness. Now, I like the balance space two packs like Lovers. Now this is a gorgeous head sculpt, but it doesn't have the amazing light pipe that reveal the shield Cyclonus has. So I'm kinda of like, do I replace this head for the more you know, more IDW head and get rid of that, that amazing light piping? I think not. I don't know. These are good hands. Add wrist swivels. We've got more of a claw book than has with a coin. He comes with this amazing sword that he started to wield in the comic books. <laughs> yeah, the hands and swords don't really fit together. You're doing an upgrade kit, and the stuff that's supposed to be upgrading doesn't really fit together. So, it's kind of, no, it misses the mark. The upgrade kit isn't worth an extra dollar. When I got Swerve, it didn't come with this. It came with another gun. It came with his hand though. And it came with a drinks tray, with drinks on it. So, you know, his accessories, he could use his accessories at the same time. Whereas Tailgate, he can't use all of his accessories. You have to remove his legs to use his other legs. 
Whereas this guy, you know, I can have these drinks tray. You can have the additional. You can buy the additional. Um, my first blaster. I'm not actually tried this yet. Tony can just about hold the my first blaster. Can he have a drink? Can he have a drink in swerves? So let's try that. Yeah, you can have a drink in swerves. That's all right. So he can fit the drinks. <laughs> but you know, it, it doesn't come with his own accessories that he can actually use at the same time. So most of the time he's just running around burr. And it's a fifteen pound difference in price. And another thing, and I don't like that. I don't like saying because I've, I've never been a box man. I've never been a box collector. They're, they're just um, most of my boxes get thrown away. But you know, recently uh, when I do get a nice box, I like to put it in my uh, in my loft. It'll get put in my loft. It'll get put in a box and box in a box. But um, I'll keep it now. This is a cheap cardboard carton that this game guy came in. It's a cheap cardboard carton. This is one practicate. It's nice. Got a little thing there, so you that the figure would be in there, so you would reveal the figure. It's got like it's magnetic clasp to it. It's just a nice, sturdy, lovely looking box cheap cardboard sleeve and it's about first impressions when I buy it when I get a figure like this I know I've bought a nice high-end collectible more than that, my first impression of tailgate is a cheap wonky cardboard sleeve and so now when I've got this figure and I've paid so much for it even though it's an amazing figure and it's an adorable figure it's a gorgeous figure I just can't get past cheap box not so good accessories. Tiny, tiny figure. Fifteen to twenty pound difference in price. Third party stuff is becoming increasingly competitive. Swerve came with a whole different figure. It was a remold of it, but it was a different figure. This has come with a third party kit that, in my mind, doesn't really work. They should have just gone with a, given us a wind charger. I think we've got this and that. I don't want to be mad. I can't stand. Look at our face. Look at our face. I can't be mad at him. It's me. It's my fault for spending the money, isn't it, really? This is it's a lovely figure. It's a lovely figure, but I just... If you're mad... The more the meets the eye. Figures like this. Then buy this figure. Don't come to me saying spend too much money on transport. <laughs> because I'm warning you now, this buying this is not value for money. No way, shape or form, is this value for money. But if you want it, buy it. It is good. It's adorable. It's very poseable and it's fun. But it's marred with that tin of. I think I might have been ripped off. Well, that's been my transform of the week. Till the next time. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes! <laughs>